Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, we produce, record and edit video content, and audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Verbal, Podomatic, Anchor, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep and the pitch is where we talk. Pitch Talk podcasts and videos are brought to you in association with LE Bikes. Begin your journey into electric bikes. Visit lebikes.co.uk Welcome to the Straight Shooting View. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Liam Angel, aka Straight Shooting LJ, and welcome to another episode of the Straight Shooting View. Now, one thing I want to tackle is recent comments made by, firstly Kevin Keegan, but also, more controversially, Joey Barton. You never think it. Joey Barton plus controversy? No, never. Surely not. Joey Barton shooting his mouth off? No, surely not. But, recently there have been some comments made. And I think one person has been misunderstood and one person is just an absolute prat. I'll let you take your pick as to which one out of Keegan and Joey Barton that I have that opinion on. But, Kevin Keegan a few months ago said that basically I I personally think he was misunderstood and taken out of context now he was asked a question in regards to women being pundits on the men's game at the top level which he didn't seem to have a problem with he just said that he was basically a little unsure because he's not sure that they'd be able to relate to the experience and the extreme pressures at the very top of the men's game. But Joey Barton went a step further and said women shouldn't be pundits at all on the men's game. And it's like, well, number one, football is for everybody. Black, white, Asian, whatever your religious beliefs, Christian, Muslim, there's such a diverse range of people in the game as players. There needs to be more diversity up top, but that's a different discussion. But it is one of them ones where whether you're man, woman, whatever, you have a right to play football. You have a right to talk about it, discuss it, Say what you what, what you love about it. Say what you hate about it. What you think is wrong with it. What you think is right with it. Everybody has a right to that. The fact is, to quote Jim Cornette, everybody's entitled to their opinion and the only opinion that doesn't matter is the one that goes unexpressed. So, with that in mind, I do not agree with what Joey Barton has said at all. He, can, he come across... He comes across as a cretin at the best of times. I mean, you've only got to look at what he's done that during his managerial career as a mediocre player. Look at what, remember what he did to Osman Darbo years ago. So, and the stories of him stubbing out cigarettes in, in, on youth players. And it's like, yeah. I don't think you've got any sort of moral high ground, Joey Barton, and you really shouldn't be talking smack. And the thing is, with someone like Joey Barton, who was a mediocre at best player, it's a case of, by his logic, for me, it's like, okay, so women shouldn't be talking about the men's game because they don't have any experience of it. Well, I guess you shouldn't be talking about international level football or Champions League football because you have no experience of that. If we're going with that logic. So Joey Barton, I think, needs to shut his mouth. Now, Kevin Keegan's comments, as I said, I think were taken way out of context and 
as per usual, people just jumped on it and said, oh, Keegan did this. No, it's a case of, he he said, I said, he was basically, he's like kind of, well, it's one of them, I'm not sure they fully, like women would fully understand because, they're, because their side of the game doesn't have the same pressures as the men's side, which is true. You don't have the same, you don't have the same level of, not just competitiveness, but there's not as much financially riding on that side of the game as you do have in the men's side. It's just a fact. There's a lot of leagues in the men's game that don't have the same riding on them on it as the Premier League. So I look at it as this. If you love football, I don't care who you are. I don't mind. I, like, I will literally talk to anybody about football. I don't care who you are. Some people are like, oh, I've never talked to a woman about football before. It's like, all right, well, you're starting to sound a bit closed-minded. Some say they wouldn't. And it's like, dude, really? <laughs> it's, like, my, it's like, my partner's not into football. She's not really into it. But she'll entertain a football in conversation. And we'll relate it to wider life, to wider society. Because, as I always say, football is a microcosm of society. So... For some people coming out and saying, you really see the chauvinists when this kind of thing comes out. And for me as well, I look at it as those saying that women shouldn't be talking about men's football and that kind of thing. These are, in my opinion, the same sort of people who will say, oh, black, oh, black players shouldn't be taking the knee. Oh, don't make football racial. Don't do this. Don't do that. And it's like, really? Fighting for equality shouldn't be done. And it's like, don't make football political. Yeah, but it's always been political. <laughs> it's like, as I said during the FIFA Uncovered um, documentary series reviews that I did, football has always been political because it's always been about money. And <laughs> money, politics, football, control, power, it all mixes in as a rich tapestry. And speaking of a rich tapestry... It is one of them was. There are some players, coming back to Joey Barton's comments, there are a lot of players who have played at the top level of the game that personally I can't stand as pundits. Michael Owen, the last English Ballon d'Or winner, British Ballon d'Or winner. Dulles Dishwater, can't stand it. Just Mr. Obvious. Mr. State, the Captain State, the Obvious. And he's boring as hell to listen to. Roy Keane annoys the hell out of me. Look at him. Multi-time Premier League winner. Champions League winner. But the fact is, he he sounds like he, he sounds like he needs to get laid. He's, he sounds he sounds like he's frustrated. And it's like, dude, you had a glittering career. Those are just two examples of cats. I just don't I just it's like you played at the top level, you won stuff at the top level of club football, and you sound bitter. It's like I don't want to hear that. But then you get, but then it's one of them was you get, you get like female pundits. Karen Carney, not my favourite female pundit, not my favourite pundit, not by a distance. But she does have some insightful things to say about the game. I said, not my personal favourite. But then. I look at, but then I look at it as someone like say, someone like say, what's it, Farrell Williams, breath of fresh air, Alex Scott, breath of fresh air. Both of those, especially Alex Scott, have, have come come under a lot of criticism. Oh, you shouldn't be talking about the men's game. Oh, your accent, this, oh, your accent, that. It's like really, it's like people trying to hide their chauvinism, and in Alex Scott's case, racism. <laughs> under oh you don't know anything about the game you're just a woman you don't care it's like dude come on like both of them are extremely insightful when it comes to the game so I was watching when I was watching the women's world cup coverage and seeing seeing the chemistry between Farrell Williams and Alex Scott it was brilliant but also as well both of them are very very knowledgeable about football and they love the game so as I said, I don't. I I could. I I would be one of them ones where I would rather listen to a passionate grassroots level coach on say match of the day than a lot of these pundits who 
basically played at the top level but are just completely agenda based and boring it's that uh, Jermaine Genus annoys the hell out of me to be perfectly honest but he's a good presenter not seeing his stuff on the one show I'm talking when he did the FIFA World Cup draw for the group stages months ago and it's one of them where it's like you know what that dude's got a future in presenting you can tell it and I said there are some guys I don't want to hear as pundits because they're boring Alan Shearer a lot of times comes across as bitter but he's a player at the he's played at the very top level of the game so it's one of them where, where, as, where as I said it's I mean there are some things that maybe a grassroots player or a female player may not be able to talk about like the extreme pressures at the very top of the game but tactically in terms of tactical insights you could be Joe Blow off the street and you could come across and you could be very tactically, tactically astute and very tactically aware but you may just not have gotten the opportunity or you may not have the passion to go into coaching that doesn't discredit your opinion as long as you can back it up with fact, it doesn't it, it doesn't discredit it. So, I said, a lot of these people who have jumped on Joey Barton's bandwagon and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're good, yeah man, you're right. And it's like, no. It's like, dude, no. He's coming across as a dinosaur. Absolute dinosaur. And I, and I said, to me, to me, I've always looked at Joey Barton as a clown anyway. I remember this is the same dude who um, remember his friend Scouse accent. Yeah, I wouldn't take anything he says seriously. Anyway, I want to be on. I want to do very well here in France and uh, maybe get on Twitter and discuss my opinion. So I don't. No, don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, Joey Barton, I do not agree with at all. And shout out to Laura Woods for actually standing up and being like, you know what? You're full of crap. Because Joey Barton is full of crap. And people like that, as said, who say, oh, oh, women shouldn't talk about the men's game because they have no experience of it. All right, cool. So all pundits should be just ex-players, no matter how good they are, no matter how good they are on the mic or whatever. Yeah, okay. That what? Just, I just look at it as whatever. Whatever. But you know what? I want to know your views. Joey Barton and Kevin Keegan's comments. What did you think of them in regards to women doing punditry on men's football? Should women be doing punditry on men's football? Are they are they good enough to do it? It's one of them was I want to know your opinions. I think like you look at someone I said like Alex Scott, Farrell Williams, absolutely brilliant. They know the game inside and out. And at the end of the and at the end of the day, football on. on it's very very like it's most basic level is the same at all levels in my view wait for that helicopter <clears throat> football is a game where at its heart and core at the most basic fundamental level is the same at all all levels 11 v 11 on the pitch referee linos it's at it at its heart and core it's all the same so there should be no there should be no discrimination if you know the game you love the game talk about the game www.pitchstatstalk.com is our official website at pitchtalk.com on twitter at Pitch Talk on Twitter tweet with us follow us see what we're up to facebook.com forward slash Pitch Talk become a fan become a fan become a member of the group join the football and revolution we're working so hard to create at Pitch Talk on Instagram for vlogs slash podcast previews and much much more we're on Amazon Music Apple Podcast Google Podcast wherever you pick up your podcast is where you can pick up the Pitch Talk audio material and podcasts as well Ah, you know what? I have been straight shooting LJA and catch us on YouTube as well. YouTube.com forward slash Pitch Talk. And I will see you next time on the Straight Shooting View. Take care, peeps. Join the Pitch Talk revolution. Check out the official Pitch Talk website. www.pitch-talk.com
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, we produce, record and edit video content, and audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Verbal, Podomatic, Anchor, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep and the pitch is where we talk. I can see you now.